Let's talk really quickly here about uh, just some things I had some feelings on. Um, let's talk about LeBron uh, real quick. Uh, just super LeBron, quick. Two minutes, James. Two minutes on LeBron. Um, so uh, everybody knows what happened with China and uh, Hong Kong. We went through great lengths in our previous segment uh, last week that we talked about um, that whole situation. And then it comes out this week that LeBron <clears throat> um, and, and the NBA's involvement with that. And then uh, it comes out this week that LeBron had comments about uh, Daryl Morey. Uh, and he basically says uh, he wasn't educated. Um now, the problem with that is, is that as LeBron is making that statement that, you know, he says Daryl Moore shouldn't have spoke because he wasn't educated on the issue. And then they pressed him. Uh, I forget who the reporter was, but they, they pressed him about what he meant by that. And he was like, I just from my own opinion, I believe he wasn't educated. So either LeBron A didn't know what the fuck was happening. Uh, and so he commented or he knew that. They were going to fuck up his bag. So he's like, fuck you guys. You weren't educated to how much money I was going to make. So you motherfuckers need to shut the fuck up. Um, here's my best interpretation of it. He was basically saying that Daryl Morey should have been more mindful because there were people, there are NBA players over in China when he made those comments. And they could have been put in danger based on his comments. That's my best interpretation of what the fuck LeBron was saying. Outside of that. He sounds like a fucking idiot. And which is especially ironic because this comes off the heels of Laura Ingram saying, shut up and dribble, right? And now that we have, uh, now that he made these comments, LeBron's like, I'm not speaking about this anymore, which is rich coming from the person who's like, I will not shut up and just dribble. I will be involved in all these issues. Um, and lo and behold, he gets involved in an issue, doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, or it just says something reckless. Uh, and now he's like, uh, you know what? You're right. I'll just shut up and dribble. <laughs> no. And like, so after, after reading this article here a little bit more about what LeBron's comments were, I do think that he was saying hey there are nba players there are like you know americans or whatever in china right now Can right I, but in really quick yeah you're right with the exception that he said he wasn't educated now i've tried to rack my brain on what that part i don't possibly get. have yeah. meant by that and the only thing i can think of is he's saying you're fucking out my bag you're not educated to how many zeros i got on the fucking line here or the nba has in general on this shit that's the only thing I can think of because I can't reconcile that with, oh, it, he has me with he's trying to keep, you know, he, you weren't thinking about, you know, the NBA players that were there, their families. Uh, you know, y you should have been more mindful with when yeah. you make those. Well, I mean, there are a handful of phrases people use when they don't know what the fuck they're talking about <laughs> and they want to fool you into thinking that you don't know. Right. Yeah. They'll say something like. Well, you're just not educated on the subject, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Or uh, one that, like, you know, a few of my friends like to use when we're talking about basketball, since I'm not a big basketball fan, but I do watch basketball, right? So they're like, oh, well, you don't know basketball, yeah. right? And it's like, okay, well, I've been watching it for 15 years now <laughs> actively. How long does it take to know basketball, right? Yeah. And then the. And then obviously there are certain words that people use. One of those words is ramifications, right? Whenever anyone uses the word ramification to you in a sentence, they don't yeah. know what the fuck they're talking no. about. They're like, well, you know, there's certain uh, like ramifications <laughs> that could, you know, maybe take place here. No, you don't know what the fuck you're yeah. talking about. And that's what that's what LeBron said, right? He was yeah. like, uh, you know, uh, what, what is the exact quote? But at times there are ramifications for the negative that can happen when you're not thinking about others and you're only thinking about yourself. But still, even in that statement, I'm still with him. I still understand what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. As I, soon I get as he it. says the word you're not educated is when I'm like, you lost me. I don't know. Yeah. The fuck he, he threw me off at ramifications yeah. and then you're not educated. That's when I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Where, where are we where now? Are we? We're lost. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> but again, I do understand what he was saying, that he was thinking about the players that were in China, um, you know, members of the NBA that were in China, you know, not just athletes. Um, but. LeBron is clearly uneducated in terms of everything that's going on between, you know, the People's Republic of but China. But that's just it. Le LeBron is smart enough and savvy enough that I, I don't actually think that that's the case. I think he does know what's going on, which makes oh, it really mysterious why he said that statement. I, because he he is a person, at least one of the NBA players that is knowledgeable and, and tries to be more socially conscious. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. His, his, his words here make no sense to me. Uh, again, uh, I, I think that it, it's ironic that now he's just like uh, they, they asked him about it in other interviews. He's like, look, I already talked about that. 
Uh, yeah. I'm not now, granted, it. this was after a game, right? Yeah. So asking athletes about something like this, right? Something political, something like outside of the frame of the sport, right? Especially after a game when you're like physically and mentally exhausted can kind of put them in a, in, in a weird position. If you just finish playing an entire NBA game, right? And then you get asked about, you know, the, the turmoil in China, you're like, Yo, uh, but he, he he had more than enough his, time. His ramifications. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, l- let's move on to one more thing.